Kang and Fella Sam Otoshin, this is another episode of Wreckfest, and in today's episode we're going still with Junior, Regional Juniors. Falk Heroes, we did these two challenges last episode, and this one I had to run away from a Harvester on a lawnmower. This one was some simple racing, and Micro Madness, I actually don't own a car for that, oh shit. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna do this one. Ooh, this, oh, this is a cool one. I like it. That's more of a stunt challenge. Oh, look, it's my car on the loading screen. That's cool. I am driving the most default car in the game, though. So I shouldn't be surprised I end up on this loading screen. <coughs> Still get the hog cherry flavored. This one's cool because the track is very interesting. It's very, it's a straight line with two circles. And you basically go through, and I oh, it's like an elimination thing too. See how the position I am in is highlighted in red? Well, that's cause I guess each lap, get the fuck out. Someone's getting eliminated, also there's a lot of hops. A lot of hopping in this one, so that's cool. Man, these fuckers are much more violent all of a sudden. I was talking about differences between Grand Theft Auto games, and you know what I also noticed about Grand Theft Auto recently? Somebody made a mod to Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, that's right, I guess. I'm not sure how do you mod an emulated game from PSP, but I guess you can do that. And somebody is developing a mod using AI voice acting. That's understandable, because it's a mod, so I'm not like upset over that or anything like that. I mean, you're making a mod you're not gonna get paid for. You're making this out of passion, so you're not gonna fucking hire voice actors, not to mention you're not gonna hire the voice actors, because who the fuck knows what kind of voice actors they had in Liberty City Stories. Maybe they were like famous actors you're not, not even gonna fucking get a chance to get a, to get a call with, let alone hire them for anything fan-made. But it's called Sendako Chronicles, and it seems to be a fan-made Grand Theft Auto game, I'm not sure how long it is how good it is, but it seems to be Liberty City Stories too. Except now instead of focusing on the Leone family, uh, it's focused on the Sindaco family, which that family, I guess, was quite underutilized, you could say, in the Grand Theft Auto 3D universe, because Johnny Sindaco, you fucking pretty much scared to death in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And then there were like Sindaco members in free, I think. Liberty City Stories had had you pretty much wiping out all of Sindacos. They were like the bad guys. There was also like Sicilian Mafia and shit. I don't fucking know. I would have to play Liberty City Stories again. I would really like if they actually got the... Uh... It's kind of a shame they didn't brought back Leonis in Grand Theft Auto 3 because I mean, 4, because 4 also features a lot of, like, Mafia stuff later on in the game. That's the part I'm in currently. I'm doing a lot of work with the Mafia. There's the Pegorinos, Ancelotti's, fucking Ancelotta's. Couldn't pick a dumber name for a fucking Mafia family. See what I'm saying? I got... I begun the race first, and now I'm just in the lead, and that's all I have to do. Just not fucking lose my first spot. Racing is unfair as fuck, man. I'm gonna somehow keep my car in pristine condition, maybe. I don't fucking crash head first into anything. And what the fuck I was saying? Oh yeah, so I just... Because like in Grand Theft Auto 5 we have Grove Street and Ball Life and shit like that. Aztecas even make an appearance, so obviously gangs from the 3D universe did carry it over to the HD universe. So why the fuck is it that in Liberty City we couldn't have Leonis? Like, it's not like you get to bring back Salvatore Leone, that wouldn't make any fucking sense. But you could at least have... Like, the Leonis with, like, different cast of characters. I don't know, it just feels like they could... Like, if they have all these families, they could at least make one of them Leonis. 
like that'd be kind of cool unless what they're trying to do is maybe now like let's say a grand theft auto 7 would take back would take you back to liberty city and they would reveal that a mafia known as the leones have took over the city or something and now the leones are back i don't know or maybe they just wanted to differentiate that this is a new universe it's new mafia families it's not just the same shit again with different characters but they're pretty much the same How many fucking races do I have to do like that? I guess that's the final one because it's six laps now. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was talking about Indiana Jones, didn't actually start talking about it. So the de aged Indiana Jones stuff at the beginning was really good, I hope. It would be because I feel like that Luke Skywalker appearance in Mando season two was like some of the first de-aging stuff we've seen used in media, and it looked fucking awful in my opinion. It also did look off. No, it didn't look awful. It looked reasonably good in Book of Boba Fett, but it sounded fucking awful because they actually used an AI-generated voice for Luke Skywalker. And you know what? I hate that. I don't know how you would fucking handle bringing back Luke Skywalker otherwise, but... I would much rather have, like, somebody who looks like young Mark Hamill just be hired for a role. Or, like, how I've been saying, like, for example, uh, Star Wars Solo. That Han Solo prequel nobody asked for. They had an actor who looks vaguely like Harrison Ford. But it's like, okay, you tell me that this is Han Solo, and I'll be like, alright, this is Han Solo, I see. It looks different, but you know, if you if this is meant to be Han Solo, and he just simply looks different because he got a new actor, I can understand that. That this is a new actor, but don't fucking go the whole movie, just have an actor with like some bullshit on his face, and then just use somebody else's face on top of an actual actor's face. That's the worst fucking kind of dystopian bullshit we could have. That means that what, in fucking 20 years we'll be seeing movies with actors who are long dead now? Instead of seeing movies with new fucking actors? Because we'll be getting a fucking Star Wars episode five and a half and now it's an adventure of Luke Skywalker and shit. And we're gonna find out how Luke Skywalker wiped his ass one time because that's a very important detail so you understand the plot of episode 6 a bit better then we're gonna have remakes of the original trilogy and now Han Solo has been deleted from the movies cause fuck him Harrison Ford hates him never got the deal with why Harrison Ford doesn't like Han Solo I think he just, I don't know, doesn't like sci-fi well, what about fucking Blade Runner? I don't know I don't really fucking know he just sometimes he's like a grumpy old man who hates stuff because fucking why not? Oh yeah, since I'm talking about Harrison Ford again, he was really well de-aged in that, and it was such a fun action sequence. It was almost like it was almost like Uncharted 2. In a way, a lot of people have been saying how Nathan Drake is like the current age adventurer kind of character. Like it used to be Indiana Jones, then in like 2000s was Lara Croft, and like 2010s it was like Nathan Drake. Now we don't really have anybody left, but you know what I also found out while I was like looking stuff up about Indiana Jones? I found out an Indiana Jones smooth game on PS2 that looks like some kind of prototype of, un like it looks like a predecessor to Uncharted. It looks in place how you would imagine Uncharted on PS2 would look like in play. Honestly, I might play it one day and maybe even make a let's play of it. Who knows? It looks really fun. I'm level 8, bitch. Getting new shit. New shit I may or may not have money to buy because, well, who knows how expensive this shit might become. I haven't really bought any f modification for cars, I only bought some cars. Speaking of which, I need a seek. Wait, what? 
Oh, I need a compact. See, I guess it's time to go and buy myself a car. Compact. More like comp ass. It's a wagon type car, full size. Wagon. Compact. Oh, maybe we could buy. Oh, it's locked. Okay. This one's full size. See, I feel like there's more cars already. Like, I unlocked more cars available for purchase. I then bought more cars, but I had more cars that I could buy. This guy's fucking dope as fuck. Alright, we're gonna go back. And it seems like I gotta buy one of these small ones as much as they kind of didn't really want to fucking buy any of them. Which one looks better from behind? This one's like nicer looking. It's a European car. It's a sophisticated machine. Alright. Maybe I'll just buy all the fucking cars. I won't worry about which car I buy since I have all of them. But now I can participate in whatever this is. With my one and only car that I think is currently displayed on the screen as well. That's nice. That means I have an advantage. Actually, I think I'm crashing on the loading screen, so I think this is trying to foretell my future. That I'm about to fucking destroy myself. It's, uh, it's a big old fuck fest again, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit, it is. Take a picture really quickly, okay? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Alright, how to position this? Whoa. Zoomed in on the ground. Looks pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Immediately back to a fucking crash. Oh, good lord. Good lord almighty. Not sure how to handle this, man, because like the last one of those challenges we were doing, I had a strategy for it. This one, not so much. Oh, you fucker, you baited me. Plus, this, these guys have better cars. Just wanna go out and say they have an advantage. How about that guy? Man, I fucking rammed into him, but I better not fucking lose. I didn't kill anyone yet. Oh, I fucking flipped him over. Flipped him over like a bitch. I'm not sure how I drift. I seem to have forgotten how to do that. How to use a handbrake. I felt like I knew how to do it before and now I just kind of forgot. See, that's a, that arena is much better for that strategy I hit earlier where I'm just kind of spinning around. Oh, fuck. You dead. I'm kind of half dead myself, but... Half dead isn't fully dead. Oh, I missed. Or oh, I could have killed this guy, but I fucking missed. How the fuck I didn't do any damage with that? Someone knocked themselves out, shit. I better not do the same. Got an awful feeling I'm gonna lose. That was no wreck? Come the fuck on. Much damage I gotta do to kill a motherfucker in this fucking tournament. 
That didn't do shit. Oh man, this car fucking sucks. I mean, I am missing most of my car, but well. What can you do? God, I'm fucking targeting this guy. Come back, buddy. Ah, he baited me, fucker. And once we get to the... My favorite part of the movie was when they run around Boston and it's like it's Nazis and shit. The Nazis characters were really funny because... Like the main bad guy was pretty cool, but the fucking two henchmen he had were like straight out of a cartoon. Especially the big guy, he was just so fucking cartoony evil. I wrecked him by gently bumping into him. I think Square is... No, how the fuck do I drift? I knew how to do that before. That was no wreck. Come the fuck on. I got a wreck assist. Man, fuck you. Oh my god, that guy has like a lot of fucking health still. Gotta eliminate him. Oh, <laughs> he committed suicide. I'm about to... Oh shit, oh no. I'm about to kill myself too in this fucking... Tournament. R1? No, R1 is back with Scarma. Man, critical damage. I don't care. Gonna get him though. See, if he fucks around one more time, I got him to fuck around one more fucking time. Stupid son of a bitch, I can see him on the minimap trying to fuck me over. He fucked right into a wall, though. Into a wall, though. Can't even see him. I think I might have... No, he's still alive. Or what kind of a life is it when you have one health left? Oh, he killed himself. I still got him though. I'd consider that like a lag, like the hit detected a little bit too early. I defeated him. I'm unlocking a bunch of shit and I'm not using any of it. What's the point, man? What's the point of giving me all this cool stuff? I gotta redo this challenge because now it's kind of marked as if I never did it. You know how I took these free thumbnails for the first three episodes? I just took them by like creating my own uh, custom events because I realized that fuck I don't actually want to reset all my events. Just take a fucking thumbnail so I kind of fucked it up man with this one. But this one was really easy so I'm just gonna repeat it maybe right after I'm done with this episode. Yeah, I guess I could do that. See you fellas in the next... There you go. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.